So a few days ago on social media, I posted a question about, do you know a quick way to assess your patient's PAO2? If you're given their FIO2 in healthy lungs, the way you do this is to take your patient's current FIO2, multiply it by five. The logic behind this is because we all by now have learned that alveolar air equation, that really long equation that takes into account barometric pressure and water vapor pressure and the respiratory quotient and all the numbers. And so we know that at sea level in a patient with normal functioning lungs, their PaO2 is between 300 to 500 millimeters of mercury. And then on room air, it's about 100 millimeters of mercury. So there's about a five to one ratio there. And this will hold true because we know that for every 10% FO2, we have about 50 millimeters of mercury rise in PaO2. Taking this into consideration, we know, again, for our patient that has normal lung function, we can rapidly assess what their FO2 potentially could be or possibly is, and you can get a ballpark range of what their PaO2 is. We can use this in scenarios where we have to calculate or determine is the PaO2 that we're given, is it right? Is there something wrong with the blood gas? Are our values wrong? Is there something going on with my patient's lungs? Because this patient is on 50% oxygen. I've got this PaO2 that is 80. And technically, they should have a PaO2 of 250. So it does help you quickly assess their PaO2. So for more insight, tips, information on all things cardiopulmonary, make sure to follow me repost this video so that anybody out there needing this information can access it too.